All right. Hey, uh, trust you are doing well here at the office uh, Thursday morning. Uh, we just got back. I've been working uh, remotely for really the last two days. We've had uh, Hurricane Idalia that was coming through here. Uh, thankfully, <clears throat> excuse me, thankfully on the, the track that it was going on, it was, you know, heading north of us. Uh, still, we were in the, the eye of the cone or the wall of the cone, and then it tracked a little bit more uh, to the west and north, and so that helped us out where we didn't have uh, as much in the way of the difficulty, storm surge, that kind of thing. You know, and it made me think, I saw, you know, people were preparing. A lot of folks also had fear, you know, uncertainty. They'd not been through this kind of thing before. And, you know, I've been in Florida, you know, pretty much my whole life since I was probably four years old. Uh, been through, you know, direct hit uh, Elena 85, uh, other storms as well. So I'd been through it and was more familiar. But, you know, folks that I'd seen or talked to, you know, that maybe had not been, had, uh, you know, they were more uh, uncertain or fearful. And it made me think about a conversation I had with somebody probably about, oh, you know, maybe a month ago on, uh, with it was investor with respect to you know we're selling a property or had just uh, you know contracted a property um, and really this year we've sold probably four but in that conversation they had seen an email that had sent out and then we were talking about it and they were like I didn't know that you could sell a property right now so again they were kind of governed by this mindset of fear and uncertainty and yeah right now in the marketplace there's more uh, challenges to selling a property compared to what it was you know maybe a year and a half ago as interest rates have gone up inflation's gone up uh you know some of the uncertainties regarding the economy these are all true and real that have uh, caused less buyers to be as active as they were in the marketplace but one of the things that i explained and told to them is like you know we have historically maintained a very disciplined approach that's what i shared in that video last week that we hadn't we hadn't bought anything in the last year because it didn't fit into our criteria. And so, you know, our approach has been very disciplined where we, you know, go in with a very specific criteria of uh, acquisition. It has to have certain metrics uh, under our conservative underwriting. It has to have uh, the ability for the property to hit metric numbers, even using our approach that allows for, you know, everything to not go perfect, meaning you've got margin in the deal. And, you know, so as I explained that to this person, I was telling him, look, we go in when we're purchasing with a, a level of certainty based on our experience and based on the historical reality that we've gone through uh, in real estate investing over the last 20 plus years. And I said that also in a like manner, we go through in a very strategic disciplined approach to implement the business plan. And so we've accomplished the business plan. Now, sometimes, you know, we encounter these challenges like we've had and I've shared and I'll share in another video about Fulton County and other counties uh, where they're not really following the law with respect to uh, eviction, even still today, you know, two plus years after COVID. Um, but because we've been disciplined, we've created the value that we set out to create we bought the property well, and then now we've been able to sell the property even with the changed market conditions and still hit our overall numbers. And so I was explaining that to them and, you know, it was very helpful for them because they're like, wow, okay, I, I didn't really realize that. And so I get it that maybe that not, may not be the case for all transactions or all investments uh, that are out there, but again, one of the things that I was advising them is like, you can't allow the fear or the uncertainties that are going on in the various moments in the economy to really rattle you and to shake you. You have to, yeah, you need to understand them and you need to be able to uh, navigate with them, but you can't be completely moved by them because what's happening is that then emotion is starting to take over or uncertainty or lack of knowledge. And then that leads to fear. And then you begin to react instead of decide in purpose and plan. And so it's something, you know, again, like I, I mentioned in the previous video as well, uh, our disciplined approach is what led us to buying the properties uh, that we bought up uh, 
last year for $9 million of our own company money. And we did that without uncertainty, without fraughtfulness or where it's sleepless nights because of, oh my God, what's happening? It's like, no, it's discipline. We're implementing the business plan. We're on track uh, financially where we're supposed to be in the underwriting and we're achieving the outcome we want. And so that's the thing I want to encourage you because, you know, there's going to be more headlines uh, that are less than positive. There's going to be economic slowdown that's part of the horizon. There's going to be more tumultuous uh, banter, no doubt, with an election year coming up. But at the same time, there's also great opportunities that are available to us in investing in accomplishing uh, our goals. And so I want to encourage you, don't allow fear to be the governor of how you make your decisions. Make them informed, be disciplined, move forward and accomplish your goals and dreams. Have a blessed and victorious week, for this is the week God has ordained for you.